Danielle with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, October the 30th. Today, I want to talk about something that we think we all need to know how to do, which is how to make a multi-strand necklace, how to measure it outright, and how to finish off the ends. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an assortment of beads. Today, I'll be using a size 6 millimeter bead. You're going to need beading wire. It's always best to use the most strand beading wire you can use. So I'll be using the .018 diameter 49 strand wire. You're also going to need crimp tubes for the size beading wire I'm going to use today. I'll be using the 2x2 two two crimp tubes. You're going to need a three strand clasp as well as a good pair of wire cutters. So let's get, oh, and you also, it'll be very helpful if you had a multi-strand beading board, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let me go ahead and get my materials together. So this and we'll is get what started. a multi-strand bead board looks like. And you can see it goes all the way up to be a very good size board. Now you'll also notice that along the edges it has numbers. These numbers are supposed to be where if I want to make a 16 inch necklace, I can go up to the 8 on each side and that'll be 16 inches. I can go up to the 9 on each side and that'll be 18 inches and so forth. I don't necessarily like to go by these numbers because a lot of the times, depending on the size bead you use, that is not going to be an accurate sizing. So I always try and do my sizing um, by putting it on, laying it out the whole nine yards. So right now, I'm doing three strands. <clears throat> the shortest one here is supposed to be 16 inches. So if I started out here in the middle, this is zero. Then my next longer one is 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That should be 8 and 8 here would make my 16 inches. My next one is 17 inches, and then this one is 18 inches. And so you can see, you know, the sizing is just a little off, even though I've put it on a necklace cone and measured it out by a ruler. But we want each of these strands to lay side by side exactly like this one is here. So that way when you actually wear it, they will lay exactly like this. So one of the ways that I do this, and I'll kind of have to move my board out of the way to do, to show you, I'll be back in just one second here, is that you actually lay out, let me see if I can zoom out here, there we go. You actually want to lay out the beads like this. Okay, so here is one strand. Then when you take the next strand and you lay it out, you want it to lay right next to the strand you have. And if it's a little bit bigger, that's okay. Okay, and then you want the third strand and the third strand should lay up next to the second strand just like that and that's kind of how you'll know that you're going to get this nice curve on your necklace so let me get these other two strands laid back on my board and i'll show you how we'll so finish I was this lucky out enough to come across these three strand slide clasps that actually have magnets in them so that when you um close them you can hear it, it clicks together there so um, you know these are going to stay together really good. So I'm going to start out the first strand, and I'm going to start out on the first hole here on each side. I'm not using any kind of wire protectors or crimp covers. Now you can use both if you want to, but in the 15, 16 years that I've been beading, I found that these wire protectors actually hinder you from getting a good lay um, the, or the way that it lays actually on the necklace. So that's why I don't use those necessarily for multi-strand stuff. So I'm going to put it in the back hole first and I'm going to press and it's going to make that little indention there. And then I'm going to come in at a 90 degree angle 
and I'm gonna put it in that crimp tube in the front hole and I'm gonna press that as well so that it folds that crimp in half. Now I can go ahead and leave this wire. I don't have to cut this wire off. Now if you're using a smaller size bead, it might not fit through the holes of your bead, so you might have to cut it off. Otherwise, you can pretty much roll it up there to where you don't even see that little excess piece of wire. The reason that we leave that is because if your necklace was, or that crimp bead was to come apart, you know, you would have that excess wire there that you would need to repair it or, um, you know, whatever you would need. It wouldn't just fall right off. Okay, so then I'm going to go through the other side. And when I do the other side, I'm going to go ahead and go through the crimp and then a few beads here before I actually um, pull that wire. Now I'm going to pull this wire straight down. I want to make sure that there's no spacing here in the piece. And then I'm going to crimp the wire on this side doing the same procedure. Just doing just like that. And then that way, now I can take my cutters and I can trim that shorter piece of wire so that I have the first side finished off. Now, when I go to do the second side, again, it's very easy. I'm just going to take my second strand here. I'm going to take the crimp, thread the crimp onto that second strand, and then I'm gonna do it on the second hole on each side. Then when I do the third strand, I'll do the third hole on so each side. So here's the completed necklace that I did using the three strands today. Um, and as you can see, it's, it will be very easy to put on and take off. Um, I've also done this really pretty one, and then I have the beads to do one in this really pretty like amber orangey color. Um, these specific beads are called crystal window beads that you can find on so my I website. So I learned today how to string a three strand necklace. Um, the bead board is not essential, but it is a huge help for you when you are learning to string these. And remember, the size bead that you have, so the bigger the bead, is going to take up more space. So when you lay it out on a ruler, it may say 16 inches, but because of the size of the bead, it's not really 16 inches. It's a little bit shorter um, because they do take up more room. So just be careful of that. Now, all the beads, the findings, and the wire that I use today can be found on my website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.